Doug, the underhook, three pops, shoulder pressure. Again, we're trying to dig as much pressure into the shoulder as we can on his chin. Walk the hips a little bit to the side. Right hook. Okay. Everyone familiar with that? Okay. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, but this time I'm not right able to get out of his legs. Okay, so I was squeezing very tight and kind of getting here for whatever reason I can't get this leg hook to break. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I call a chest squeeze. All right, which I'm going to let go of my grip here, reach out. I'm going to walk my chest. So I'm going to replace my shoulder with my chest and his chin. And then I'm going to keep crawling up. You can tell you it sucks. All right, but what's happening is that my knee, which is currently caught under his hips, as I move my chest up, is going to pop over his hips. Okay, and that's going to give you to control. I move up. You can see right now, my knee's out. Sometimes you can just pop over the mountain like this, but usually, and if you guys see it from this side, he's gonna get like a quarter guard. Okay, so you might be stuck with this little thing. Not a big deal for MMA, but if we want to get out of it completely, all I'm gonna do is windshield wipe, break. What this also does is that by crawling up this high, his arm is starting to get exposed here. Okay, so while I'm passing, I'll do like the itsy bitsy spider. I'm just gonna crawl, 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 boom. Take my head in the ground, okay. and it already puts me in position to hit my arm triangle. Okay, again, good arm triangle. I want to try to close any space between my elbow and the side of his neck. Okay, so usually it's preferable in the beginning to be loose. All right, if you're flexing tight, you're going to create that little gap in the elbow. So you want to be like a noodle. Go loose first, and now once I'm all the way in, now I can start tightening up. Keeping my head low, all right? What I like to do is once I'm in position here, start bringing my chin to look into it, okay? Because that's gonna help push his shoulder into his neck. And it also makes it harder for him to do the telephone escape, right? If I'm here like this, he could do it easily, right? Because I'm not blocking his elbow. Relax. Now he goes, okay, can't get there. And then finally, we walk our hips towards his head. I'm going to hold up yeah. your head. So, move again. So, we're here. Stick with the underhook. Cross face. Shoulder pressure. And start walking. And I try to get this out. I can't. Reach up. Start moving your chest up. And you see if my chest starts coming up, look, my knee's going to pop out. If I'm still stuck in this quarter guard, yeah, okay, just wait your way. Pull out. So you can see I'm already in position. Questions? Okay, so when I'm here, I can do a few grips. One, just palm the palm, gable grip, no thumbs. Okay. Alternative, you want to be extra mean, you stack your wrists here. Okay. What this does, when you're like this, you're using this flat side of your wrist behind his neck. When I turn up, it's now half the width. So you're doubling the pressure. So when I come here like this, and the choking arm, the one around his neck will be the one on top, I can tell you, there's a lot more neck pressure. And you're also reducing the amount of, you have to drop. Because my arm triangle, I'm trying to get my shoulder to my wrist. If I did that, I would effectively cut his head off. When I stack my wrist, I raised it up a bit, so I don't have to drop as much to get that same close. So those two options are good. Other questions? All right, let's do it on three. Ready? One, two, three. Oops. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be alerted when the next video drops. Now, if you want to get more videos like this on a daily basis, Go and visit my membership site at ffacoach.com. We have online video curriculums, our daily videos, and you can get bonus courses like the Kimura Trap System for free when you enroll today. So go ahead and help support the channel and visit today.